Whoa, flipping out, it's looking really moody out there now. Boof, when you just hit with that, it's a bit boring. I wouldn't blame you if you unsubscribed. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Hiking the Wainwrights. Look at these conditions. Wow, it is absolutely stunning this morning. I mean, mind-blowingly so. The light is gorgeous. I mean, look at that light spilling out of there. Right, okay. Let me try and concentrate here. It's a bit difficult. I just packed up at Brothers Water there and I've just walked along the side of the lake, walking along that path. It was so beautiful. <laughs> I didn't want it to end, but end it must, because today I've got a bit of a walk on. Not a massive walk, but you know, certainly something to get the blood pumping and will take a little bit of time. So today I'm going to the Priest Hall, which is a really interesting little place uh, on the side of Dove Crag, about halfway up Dove Crag actually. And it's a little cave. Oh, I'd say a cave is probably stretching it a little bit. It's actually more of a notch in the crag where quite a lot of people camp overnight and use it as a little bit of a, a shelter. So we're going up there and then we're going to go up to Dove Crag and hit a few more Wainwrights along the way as well. So anyway, let's go and have a look at the route and see exactly where we're going today. So I've parked the van at Brothers Water and now heading up into Dovedale. Some really beautiful waterfalls in this valley. Starts off gentle, gets a little bit steeper towards the Priest Hall, which is here, after which we're going to head up onto Dove Crag. Then we're going to drop down to Bakestone's Moss and over to the Little Heart Crag. Then a gentle stroll down to High Heart Sop Dodd before a very steep descent back into the valley, along Brother's Water once more, and then back into the van. So that's where we're going today. Pretty good walk. And from this point here, just walk through uh, Hartsop Hall, we can actually see High Hartsop Dodd there and sort of see the route behind those trees. Look at the light. It's crazy. However, I'm a little bit disappointed because I've left my camera holster thing, you know, the uh, how I carry my camera at home. So I'm gonna have to keep stopping, get my camera out of the bag, take pictures put it back again. Let's head on up into Dovedale. Such a beautiful valley this one. Lots of interest, lots of photographic opportunities. Uh, yeah, and we should get our first glimpse of Dove Crag in a minute as we get round this corner and away from these trees. So uh, yeah, let's get on. You can actually see Dove Crag right there now, right in front. It's very imposing from this angle. And you can actually see the priest hall. I reckon there'll be people in there today, definitely. Look at this light. Look at the light. Hopefully that crepuscular ray is getting picked up by this camera. That is beautiful. And look at what it's illuminating. Wow, that's where we're going today. Always worth checking behind you. Just have a quick glance. Very nice indeed. And there's some lovely little footbridges along this route as you cross over Dovedale Beck. There we go. What a cute little bridge. Spider webs across all of it. 
this is Dovedale Beck and up we go this is the beginning of the ascent we've not done any climb yet back across the beck it is so beautiful around here it really is uh, normally I don't come this way normally I end up going on another path up that way you probably can't see it on this camera if you can there's a wall that runs along up there but I thought today I'd come a different way down by the beck and I'm glad I did because it's so beautiful Ooh, some nice looking little waterfalls here let's go and have a look very nice oh yeah I really like the way it's splitting on the rock there down either side Some more waterfalls here not as impressive as the ones further down that we saw but a very nice sight nonetheless really beautiful Dovedale is delivering that's for sure through the second footbridge and getting a nice view of Dove Crag okay back on that path that i was talking about earlier the one that i normally go up and i can safely say i'm never going to go along that path ever again the one that i normally go that one i'm always going to take that one wow and you know that could be a fantastic photograph right there that is a beautiful scene with the bridge and i've had a bit of light in the valley there so from here the priest hall is very very visible once again i don't know how visible on here but it doesn't matter because we're going to want to have a look at it so don't worry too much but look at this look at the light it's always the flipping way isn't it i can't get my camera out well i can but laziness is stopping me and that happens it's really oh my cutie So Priest Hall is quite an unusual name, isn't it, for a, a place, or certainly a cave or a, a notch in the crag. Uh, I don't think it comes from the name given to the secret places where they used to hide the priests uh, during the persecution of the Catholics back in the reign of Elizabeth I. I don't think it was actually used as a priest hall. The whole point of the priest halls that were actually, you know, built into buildings very large stately homes and castles and that kind of stuff behind walls and under staircases and all kinds of weird places the whole point of that was to get them in there quickly when the authorities turned up to search there's nothing quick about getting up here <laughs> they just like see him running off right there he is I'll just follow him up and kill him in fact killing them was probably the least of their worries god we've got some history in this country haven't we some pretty horrendous bloody history one thing that i find really unusual though and it's conspicuous by its absence is the fact that in his books Wainwright didn't mention the priest hall at all well certainly not on the Dove Crag chapter he mentions the gullies there's three gullies up there mentions all the other terrain around mentions the crag and mentions that there's other places to hide under boulders and all that kind of stuff but he doesn't mention the priest hall which is unusual unless I've completely missed it which could be the case because I'm blind as a bat but uh, hmm Strange, isn't it? Need to be careful because it is very, very slippery at the moment. Gorgeous, though. Look at it. And this path and this tree. Oh, some nice light on the crag there beautiful okay this is the beginning now of the steepest section of the day and it is just this path that goes up the side there and then when we get to the top of that we won't be a million miles off from the point at which we branch off to the priest hall so it's just a glorified staircase really it's snaking its way up and 
it's starting to rain. Jacket on or not? There you go, it's always worth checking behind you. Nice little disused quarry hut. That nice little staircase turns into a very steep staircase at one point. Right, now I'm getting to the top of that steep bit and almost, well, pretty much in line now with the priest hall. So it's really at this point here where the path turns from the steps to the gravel that we're gonna head up. It's tricky to find, even on days like today, because what happens is as you get closer to it, you lose sight. So you kind of have to pick your way from this point and pick little markers. So I'm gonna head towards a little outcrop of rocks there, then up a grassy section to a, a wall, and then I'm gonna basically head east. But what I'll do is I'll film the way up and you can see roughly where I'm going, roughly where I'm going wrong. <laughs> And then you can see the steep ground as you approach uh, the priest hall itself. Okay, I'm actually following this little trod around here. So I'm kind of heading up to that bit first, up a grassy section to that wall and along that ledge. Okay, here we go. Kind of rightly, it gets a little bit steeper around the corner. Oh, I can smell breakfast. Round and down. Oh, that was close. That was very close, almost fell then. Look at that down there, incredible. So you can see the, the drops there look immense. There you go. You don't want to be dropping down there. Morning, you all right? Breakfast smells good. Am I just in time? Full house. Uh, yeah? Ten? Wow. Oh, that bacon smells good. There were ten of them in there. It must have been like a tin of sardines. Surely that must be a record. But look at these views you get from just outside the priest hall. Incredible. But sadly there was no bacon going spare, so I decided to not stick around too long. Alright, enjoy your brekkie. Enjoy your walk out as well. <laughs> See ya. Let's get across here and out without slipping this time. There's where I slipped. <laughs> Whew, that was close because I would have gone down there. There's no point in going back down to the path there now because actually I want to go up this fell. So I can see if I can find an obvious point which I can contour around and head up to the top. Look at the light there. That is the stuff I love. Where am I going? Where am I going now? By the looks of it, path zigzags around. It's not really much of a path. It's not an actual official path, but uh, definitely a noticeable route. The sun is just skirting on the side of St. Sunday, actually below Gavel Pike. That's where we were. Last week, we, being me and you, my little hiking travel buddies, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up to Duff Crag and assess the photographic potential at that point, out that way, and perhaps get my camera out. I really hope you're enjoying these views here behind me, and I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, you know what you need to do. Hit the like button and help it spread to other people that love the Lake District and the outdoors in general. Here we go. Views are starting to open up in all directions now. That's looking very nice, striding edge out over there 
I'll get the camera out and I'll show you what you can see. Look at the light down here in the valley, down in Dovedale. Look at that. I've just put my camera away again. Honestly, I'm so annoyed with myself for not bringing the, the belt. Such a fool, such a whiner, <laughs> such a whiny baby. Okay, I'll just look at it with my eyes. Beautiful, this is a really, really good spot to come and take photographs. Just down from the summit of Dove Crag. The summit's just up, up here. Not been yet. <laughs> Still not ticked it off yet. Not ticked off the first one of the day. Right, so there's a summit there, look, not far. Little stroll up. Yeah, I can't think of anything that I'd rather be doing right now. I'm absolutely loving this series so much. It's such a an honour and a privilege and a joy to be out here doing this. And knowing that you're enjoying it as well. Very, very lucky boy, and I never take it for granted. Now, I seem to be heading off in the wrong direction, so I was just following that trod because it was easy. I'm just going to go up. Okay, so the highest point will be over there. It's looking very moody and very atmospheric looking out towards the west now. Uh, I would point it out on my other camera, but well, you know, you know the situation. I mean, looking back towards Helvellyn and Castercam, there's some weather moved right across there now, you can see it. It looks like it's hammering it down there. But I think we're gonna get some. It's coming straight towards us. So we're gonna get wet, I think, in a second. That's okay, I'll stick the waterproof on. And stick your waterproof on and then we're good. Okay, I think it's really important that we all look out for each other out here on the fells. And that, that goes for you. You need to look after me, you have to keep reminding me to stop doing this. All these wardrobe malfunctions, that's not good having a zip open because all sorts of bad stuff is going to go in there. The buddy system, look after me and I'll look after you, sort of. <laughs> right, here's the summit. It's a bit boring, just a big grassy dome with a wall on it and a path going across it. Flipping out, it's looking really moody out there now towards Fairfield. But yeah, here we go, this is it. I guess the best part of this is the fact you can see Windermere and ooh, some nice light going onto Hart Crag now, look. Really nice dark clouds, patches of light. This is my cup of tea. I've been hampered by my laziness. It's a real problem. <laughs> right. Dove Crag, whatever, done. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Little heart crag. What a beautiful photograph that would have made. I'm sorry, I'm mourning again. I'm really, I am so sorry. I wouldn't blame you if you unsubscribed. <laughs> now I can see a fence post. So this is the civil parish boundary line and you can actually see the path now where we're going to be going down here in fact you can see it all the way down over Bakestones Moss I'm trying to work out if that's my stomach rumbling or people's voices I'm so hungry it's round about whoa oh nearly it's round about I'm guessing here 10-ish 11 maybe no it is voices it's not my stomach but I am starving This to me is the perfect light when you have the huge contrast between the highlights and the shadows. This is a little bit squelchy. 
So from here on Bakestones Moss, you get this fantastic view looking back towards uh, Dove Crag. Well, that's nice. Again, that would make a really, really beautiful photograph with the right light. And today is one of those days where the light could actually be right and get the crag and get the, the different layers of the hills behind it. So lovely. So happy. <sighs> just turn into like jelly when I'm here because it's just so gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I mean, even this old dilapidated fence. There's so many shots you could get, so many views you can just look at. I mean, just forget photographs for a minute. Just looking at that is gorgeous, looking straight through the gap. I mean, you could wait here 10 minutes and that scene right there would change dramatically. And you could end up getting uh, quite a few different photographs there that would be, well, I think printable and worthy of hanging on the wall, definitely. Hmm, but not today, not for me, because I'm a Muppet. Liking this little tan a lot. Not too sure if I've mentioned this before. I think I might have mentioned it on a, a previous hiking vlog, maybe a couple of years ago. But the word tan comes from uh, Old Norse. I think it's like tian or something like that. And it means tear. And it's because normally they are the shape of a teardrop. And some of them, well, quite a lot of them are actually teardrop shaped. So there you go, a little factoid there for you. Completely useless, but maybe of some slight interest. Look at these. So you can see right down Scandale now, which is looking really special actually. And in the distance there, you can see Ambleside and obviously Windermere, the body of water. That right there is definitely a heart shaped tan. Okay, here we are up on Little Heart Crag. Sort of a little summit cairn there, pile of stones. And the other lesser summit is over that way. And that's the way I'm going to go in a minute to get onto the ridge of uh, Hart, High Heart Top Dodd. But yeah, nice view. Very nice view indeed. That is a heart shaped tan, isn't it? Definitely. Ooh, nice little tanlet. I love stuff like this. These little mini tans. Right, so here we are on the smaller of the two summits. So we were a second ago on the main proper summit. I think I'm going to sit around here and have my butties. I was going to go down to High Hearts Up Dodd and sit there and have a look, you know, overlook Brothers Water. I think this has got a better view of where we've been today, Dove Crag and, and everything else beyond. I think once I drop down there, I'll lose sight of that and I'll lose sight of these hills here. So I think I'm going to stay here on this little outcrop. I've got some mountain Maltesers there to keep me going <laughs> for dessert. If only Finn was here, she'd be absolutely munching all those down. <sighs> Dirty dog. I had a flash of panic then. I thought for one minute I'd left me butties at home. That would have been catastrophic and I think I would have just gone home, given up, deleted all of this. <laughs> just giving up the whole lot. Butties are life. It doesn't actually get that much better than this, does it? It really doesn't. Right, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see you um, very shortly because this won't take long at all. Year. I think we're good to go. So I do apologize, I've got food around my mouth as well, by the way. But yes, very nice place, fantastic views out uh, overlooking the valley there. Little Heart Crag, top spot, I like it a lot. I spotted a minute ago a herd of cows right along the nose, right along the edge, right in the middle of the flipping path. A couple of years ago, I got chased by a cow who was protecting her calf, so I'm a little bit wary now. There's a guy just gone down ahead of me, actually. He's gonna be in front, 
hopefully uh, they'll chase him or it could be worse he might really pee them off and they're ready for the next person to come along right the next person that comes down here is gonna get it I really just cannot stop ogling at that view so the ridge is starting to get narrower now um, which means you start to see a little bit more on either side I mean it's no it's no sharp edge you know but you know what I mean it's nice though I like this grass it's lovely I really like this path I, <laughs> look at that it's just I look at this path I think oh yeah it's beautiful you know rolling its way down beautiful looking out towards Red Screes see a little bit of Kirkson Pass down there really really beautiful and then you turn around boof and you just hit with that it's just unbelievable it's a different level right let's go and check out this cow sitch oh, I think there is a calf I mean they've, they've stayed still the whole time they've not moved an inch they've let this chap go past another guy go past but they're gonna stampede the hell out of me I've just got a stampedable face <laughs> Hello. Hello <laughs> what lovely people. I could have literally have stopped and talked to them for hours. I think they were getting a little bit worried that I was. <laughs> it's gonna get steep in a minute. I mean, really, really steep. Where that uh, lady is there, through the wall, and I think it's just gonna drop off into the abyss. As you can see, there's not a lot of hill ground in front of us anymore, which can only mean one thing, it drops off. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Ah, cute little style, what a view. Ooh. I think I could live here. Crag Ranch, absolutely. With that view out the back, although I think I'd have to get rid of this footpath. Can't have all these flipping riffraff going past Crag Ranch. <laughs> Into this field with what looks like could be a bunch of erratic boulders. Um, I don't think they would have rolled off the top, but I don't think they'd get enough momentum to get here. So by erratic boulders, means basically they were cut away from the mountain by the, the glacier and as the glacier receded it left the big chunks of rock behind so I'm not far away at all from the van just a short stroll back along Brothers Water I hope you enjoyed this one episode 8 two more to go I really hope you can join me next week where I may or may not have a little white dog with me who knows but in the meantime I'm going to go to the pub. I was going to go to the Brothers Water Inn or whatever the hell it's called, but the last time I went there, I had a bit of a bad experience. So I'm going to go back to Kirkstone Pass Inn because I like it there. It's a perfect day to go and sit out and overlook uh, the struggle and do some people watching. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, uh, don't forget to check out the photographs that may or may not be at the end depending on whether I got any good ones today or not.